<laughs> right now, uh, it's almost a, a thousand years since Lady Godiva stripped off and rode naked on horseback through the streets of Coventry in a protest against taxes. Now the scene has been reenacted as part of a new film out next month, shot of course in a city famous for the legend. It may be an independent, low budget production, but it still has its share of recognisable faces. Kirsten Hills has been star spotting. It's probably the world's most famous naked protest, brought to the screen next month with the release of Lady Godiva back in the saddle. The former Steps singer stars in the most daring part. It was March and it was freezing, it was starting to snow, but it was really good fun. Um, everyone was absolutely brilliant, very warm and friendly. We had loads of extras and had some, yeah, nice whoops and woos when we got the kit off, so. <laughs> it's taken four years to shoot this slapstick comedy at a mere cost of two million pounds, with many of the actors working for free. The cast includes Four Weddings and a Funeral star James Fleet, Neil and Christine Hamilton, and Central Tonight's oh. very own weather presenter, Emma Jessen. Oh, watch it. Oh, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, can we have a reaction from you about today's event? Uh, no. Well, guess that's about it then. But you better get ready because the streets of this historic city are about to clip-clop to the sound of horses' hooves. Unlike the traditional story, this film has a very modern feel to it. And the story involves Native Americans, a corrupt mayor, and even a bid to host the world's largest casino right here in Coventry. In fact, the only thing the two stories do have in common is the famous horseback scene. It was ner nerve-wracking to start off with, but everyone was really kind and friendly and, and offering their coats at the necessary time. We had lots of double-sided sticky tape, and we had to stop filming when it got too windy. <laughs> what we do, eh? What we do. The film has some dramatic developments. And to know the outcome, well, you'll just have to wait until the 13th of November. Kirsten Hills, The Central Tonight. Be able to see that, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> Bob was asking whether that was a body stocking or not that she was wearing, and I've never seen him peer so close to the TV screen to have a look. Well, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. I think it was a bit of, bit of sellotape and some strategically oh, so, placed um, hair, Bob. No body stocking. No. And Emma Jessen there playing a pushy reporter. Uh, I hope she didn't pick that up in our newsroom.